going on? What's happening? How you living? How you been? How you feel? Thank you to everyone that supports me or has supported me from the beginning, whether it be from Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or even back home friends and family. You guys are the reason that I do this. I'm really, really excited to share everything about my trip to Arlington, Texas and the XFL showcase. Dwayne The Rock Johnson was there. It was the final showcase and he had to make an appearance because it was the biggest showcase. So I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. I'm gonna tell you guys what it was like. I'm gonna tell you guys some of the drills, everything. Let's get into it. Now, if you know me, you know I fight for the underdogs. Whether you weren't good enough to go D1, you weren't big enough, you weren't fast enough, you weren't strong enough, some cases not good looking, but I don't have that problem. Now, if you ever feel you want to get to know me on a more personal level, if you don't already know me, you need to hit me up on Instagram. I do catch up on DMs. I get a lot, but I do take time out on the weekends to answer hundreds of DMs from young kids all over the world who just want to know what it's like to do what I've done or get as big as I am. Like that's that's one of the biggest secrets a lot of people want to know. I also go live on TikTok twice a week. Those dates and times are announced throughout the week, so that way anybody can get access to them and I always have a feeling of who wants it and when. You can also purchase my fitness app. There you will join an exclusive group chat to get more in-depth access on workouts, nutrition, anything that I do to be the freak athlete that I am so that you can attain that same status. Yes, that one does cost, but I do promote the top two over that one. One of the biggest reasons why I got into TikTok was to give my story so that people can learn from me. I want you guys to be better than I ever was. So follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, follow me there where you're going to get more personalized, in-depth access to me and who I am as a person. But let's get right into it because we have a lot to talk about. This is a good story that everybody wants to know. I've been grinding hard with these brands, Body Armor, Shop GLD. You know how it goes. I've been trying to put in the work to get the benefit from it. I want to give you guys an update on the football journey because everyone thinks I just box now. No, we still ball. We still chasing the dream since we were seven years old, man. Mom told us we could only play flag. We begged to play tackle. We've been rocking ever since. Right now, business is booming for football. We just finished our private pre-draft workout with the XFL defenders, and it went phenomenal. So damn good that the XFL player personnel for the defenders actually followed me on Twitter. That was, I was like... Do y'all want me or, or what are we doing here? It's going pretty good. It's going well. I can't complain. After the showcase, we put up some good numbers. Not that good in the 40 where we wanted, but everywhere else was phenomenal. Broad jump, position drills. We look too good. We look clean out there. I was scaring myself. But now the XFL draft is on November 16th. We got to wait. We got to see what happens. Pray for me. Let's hope we can get out there so I can give y'all some more content and more day in the life, things like that, so you can see what it's like to be a pro athlete again. I'm 27 years old. I haven't played football in three years. And to get that opportunity meant so much to me because now I'm even more athletic. I'm faster. I'm stronger. We've been grinding. You think we ain't been working? You think we just been botting? Nah, man. I still got the feet to play and I can still ball. And I want to show the world what I can do. So let's hope we get this XFL workout. This is us in it together. This ain't just me. I'm stepping out there for all of us that are underdogs. We are the next generation of athletes, guys. There's so many things in this world that people can take away from me, but there's something they can't, and that's achievements. And I've achieved some really high level things in my life. I've been in the NFL, whether it's been for three days, three months, three years, we've been there. Major organizations like the WWE have reached out and noticed my athletic ability and my aptitude to be a freak of nature. I do all this without a job. I do this on pure faith, hope and determination. But at the end of the day, if you support me and you believe in me and you think I can do it, guess what? That's all I need, man. I got my family, I got my fans, and I got my friends. The three F's in life and you guys are one of them and thank you so much for all y'all support. But all right, now for the small talk, let's get to the video that we're all here about. The XFL showcase and what it was like for me. So this is special to me because like I said, I'm 27 years old. I haven't played in three years. And the fact that I got that call baffled me to be able to come and showcase what I can do. Because for starters, I'm a Division II athlete. It's rare that a Division II athlete gets his opportunity in the NFL or pro football in general. But that's not stopping nothing. I'm working with some of the top brands in the sports world like Body Armor. So a little backstory on my journey through the pro football circuit. I had two NFL pro days after my stellar career Landing me All-American as a linebacker. As you guys can see, I look pretty damn good on the poster. This is a phenomenal poster. I landed as an All-American after my senior season. I've had two NFL Pro Days. The first one... 
piss poor to say the least. So my 40 time was actually worse on the day of the pro day as it was when I first came in. How's that even possible? Everything else was below average at best. My broad jump was like an 811. My vertical was like a 31 below average, but my bench press, because I am strong, my bench press was 25 reps, almost got 26. I was, sh I shocked everybody that didn't nobody, no one expected this little D2 linebacker to be able to bench press 225, 25 times. I stood out. I was the second best. The only other guy that beat me at that pro day was an offensive lineman. So I was like, eh, that's a win. So after the pro day comes like the whole NFL draft. I'm thinking, okay, I at least did good enough my senior season to get noticed. My pro day was okay at best, but I'm really riding on the fact that I was a D2 All-American. I had three to five teams reaching out to me prior to the NFL draft talking about, hey, we need more film on you. We liked you. We want to see more about you. We want to get to know you. Took down a bunch of information on me. Draft day comes, crickets. I don't get drafted. I don't even get a call for training camp or free agent signing. But, 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 I do get a mini camp invite. And I was like, I'm gonna ride this mini camp invite until the wheels fall off. This is where I'm about to go. I'm about to go in and steal the show. I'm about to become that man. I'm about to go do everything they said I couldn't do. I didn't get a call back after day three. My agent said they had messaged them saying he just didn't do enough to steal one of the veteran spot or even someone we drafted spot. I was like, you know what? I can respect that. I can highly respect it because I went out there and I laid everything out on the line. I put it all out there and I said, I'm going to do everything I can. And I did. It just wasn't good enough at the time. So remember I told you guys I had two NFL pro days. So now I have to wait a whole nother year to do pro day again. I had to beg one of my ex-teammates who's a grad assistant over at New Mexico State University. Please, brother, get me back into the pro day. I'm, I'm going ball. I'm grinding. I'm working. I'm leaner. I'm faster. Let me come show them when I, I come out there. And he was trying. He really tried. I didn't find out until two weeks before the pro day that I was invited to the pro day. Luckily, mama always told me, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. I was always prepared for any and every opportunity. So I go to the pro day, I got a chip on my shoulder. I'm, I'm like, nah, man, I should already be in the NFL. Anybody that I don't care about, I already know how it's gonna be. They gonna look down on me, they have no idea. They gonna be like, hey, this guy's a D2 athlete, a washed up D2 athlete at that. So I already know I'm coming in un overlooked, under hype. no one's watching what I do. No one's looking at my 40, no one's looking at my bench press. When I did bench press, everybody was already gone. They put the D2 players last to do bench press and everything because NMSU is a Division I program, but they do have Division II players come out there. 37-inch vertical, 4.61, 40-yard dash, and that's the average. The, the fastest time I had was a 4.53. Slowest, somebody got me at a 4.87. I don't know how slow his hand was working, but that, that didn't represent my speed at all. We jumped a 10-foot-2 broad jump, explosive, fast, and strong. I did 24 reps on 225 on the bench press. What more do you need from a linebacker, six feet tall, 222 pounds, running that fast, jumping that high, strong as hell, what more do you need me to show you? That's what I was thinking every single time I didn't get a call after that NFL draft because of COVID. COVID hit and it washed up so many opportunities and it hurt my opportunity to get back in the league that year. I'm not saying I'd have been a guaranteed hit, but I had a better chance than when I came out the year before because my pro day numbers were stellar that year. I put up some of the top numbers that would have been at the NFL Combine. So we're gonna fast forward now. We're gonna look past that. We're gonna talk about what I had to do now after the bus at the NFL drive. I had to get a job. I just had a baby. I mean, I, I, got, I gotta go work. I had another baby. I have two kids now. I have to go work. I have to do things to provide for my children. I gotta put this degree that I got at this institute to use. So I put my dreams and my goals and my ambitions to the side because I needed to raise my children, be the responsible man that I am and claim to be. And then lo and behold, here comes the XFL sending me an email. Hey, we want you to come try out. We wanna see what you can do. So I said, you know what? Let me go see what I can do. Let me let me let me ask my followers. What do you guys think? I asked all the social media. What do you guys think? I got an unprecedented amount of responses saying, "Go try it out. You never know what can happen." I got a bunch of hate saying, "Hey, you're not good enough." When tried out, we bought out. We bought out so well 
that the Washington Defenders hit us up for a private pre-draft workout right after. Here's some of the drills. This is what we did. Here you see my 40 yard dash, 465 to a 474. That was the range they clocked me at. Here you see my triple broad jump, 30 feet. That's 10 yards in three jumps. It's really hard to do. Then we have other drills here. It's linebacker specific. We have some drills here for the L cone, focus on our lateral movement, change of direction, acceleration, things like that. I excelled in all of them. I did so good that the coach came up to me, the DC defender coach. Hey son, what's your name? And typically, if they come up to you, that's a good thing because they tell you at these showcases, do not approach any of the coaches. Don't ask for your time. Don't ask for any of that. Don't approach them. So if they approach you, that is a big, big win. The showcase was dope. Not only did I get to go show what I can do on the football field, but I also got to meet some really cool people that follow me on social media. A lot of people that look up to me and I was like, damn, I'm just a no, I'm just, I'm just dumb. I'm just a nobody. It's huge. It was amazing. It's great. A lot of these guys are like, hey, man, can I just get a picture with you? I just want to talk to you. Pick your brain a little bit. You are the reason why I put the cleats back on. You gave me inspiration. You gave me hope. And that's all I ever want to do is to give hope, motivation, and the courage to try it again. Don't give up. That's the biggest thing my page is about. So now that the showcase is over, now we wait. The draft is coming up. I've been in talks with the DC Defenders team. No other team is at interest that I know of so far. I have reached out to a few agents to see who can get me a little bit more of an edge within the system and we're just gonna go from there we're gonna keep pushing i'm gonna keep you guys updated thank you guys for tuning in to to this amazing video i love to share the stories about everything i've done in life because i want to be the example for all those young kids out there that never thought they were good enough that never thought they could do it they never thought damn it could be me because i never thought that i never knew this was real until i actually did it i want to end this with a quote from my late grandfather who was the biggest motivator in life for me this man literally was the reason why I wanted to play football. I wanted to prove to him that I can play ball. Never stop until your good is better and your better is best. That means don't stop until you become the best version of yourself. And that is what I chase every single day. When I'm dog tired, when I don't feel like being there, when I don't feel like working out, when I don't wanna get up to go run, I always say to myself, never stop until your good is better and your better is best. That's what's gonna separate you from the pack. That's what's gonna separate you from everybody else around you. Everybody has their other motivators why they wanna do something, but if your motivator is to be the best version of yourself and nothing else externally, you're gonna be the most dominant person in the world, whether it's in sports, whether it's at your job, whether it's in life in general, your family, whatever it is, never stop until your good is better and your better is best. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to weekly videos that I'm gonna be putting out. I want to encourage everybody. I'm out.